Los Angeles Louis Gossett Jr., the first black man to win a supporting actor Oscar and an Emmy winner for his role in the seminal TV miniseries Roots, has died. He was 87. Gossett's first cousin Neil L. Gossett told the Associated Press that the actor died in Santa Monica, California. A statement from the family said Gossett died Friday morning. No cause of death was revealed. Gossett's cousin remembered a man who walked with Nelson Mandela and who also was a great joke teller, a relative who faced and fought racism with dignity and humor. Never mind the awards, never mind the glitz and glamour, the Rolls Royces and the big houses in Malibu. It's about the humanity of the people that he stood for, his cousin said. Louis Gossett always thought of his early career as a reverse Cinderella story, with success finding him from an early age and propelling him forward, toward his Academy Award for an officer and a gentleman. Gossett broke through on the small screen as Fiddler in the groundbreaking 1977 miniseries Roots, which depicted the atrocities of slavery on TV. The sprawling cast included Ben Vereen, LeVar Burton, and John Amos. Gossett became the third black Oscar nominee in the supporting actor category in 1983. He won for his performance as the intimidating marine drill instructor in An Officer and a Gentleman opposite Richard Gere and Deborah Winger. He also won a Golden Globe for the same role. More than anything, it was a huge affirmation of my position as a black actor, he wrote in his 2010 memoir, An Actor and a Gentleman. A Lucky Break he had earned his first acting credit in his Brooklyn High School's production of You Can't Take It With You while he was sidelined from the basketball team with an injury. I was hooked and so was my audience, he wrote in his memoir. His English teacher urged him to go into Manhattan to try out for Take a Giant Step. He got the part and made his Broadway debut in 1953 at age 16. I knew too little to be nervous, Gossett wrote. In retrospect, I should have been scared to death as I walked onto that stage, but I wasn't. Gossett attended New York University on a basketball and drama scholarship. He was soon acting and singing on TV shows hosted by David Suskind, Ed Sullivan, Red Buttons, Merv Griffin, Jack Parr, and Steve Allen. Gossett became friendly with James Dean and studied acting with Marilyn Monroe, Martin Landau, and Steve McQueen at an offshoot of the actor's studio taught by Frank Silvera. In 1959, Gossett received critical acclaim for his role in the Broadway production of A Raisin in the Sun along with Sidney Poitier Ruby Dee and Diana Sands. He went on to become a star on Broadway replacing Billy Daniels in Golden Boy with Sammy Davis Jr. in 1964.